So in the previous video, uh, we look at how to determine the number of environments of hydrogen in molecules like this, given a skeleton structure. So now we look into the second point, which is the integration ratio. This also gives you a lot of information to determine what is the unknown molecule. Now back to here, we have determined that there are two different environments of protons, environment A and environment B. And I drew for you just now, there are two signals. All right. But what is the total area underneath each signal and the ratio? For environment A, we notice that there are six protons that are identical. And for B, there are two protons that are identical. Which means if I simplify this ratio, I will get 3 is to 1. Which means that if this signal here that I'm shading belongs to A, and the other one that I'm shading here belongs to B, the area underneath area A against area B will be the ratio 3 is to 1. So that's what we mean by integration ratio. Not this. This integration in math. Now for metabutane, we do likewise. A, B, C, D, there are four different environments. So, okay. I'll just sketch it out. Right. And just for this purpose, we will think that this is A, B, C, D. Okay. Let's assume it first. What would be the integration ratio or the area underneath the peak? For A, we have got three. B, 2, C, 1, and D, 6. And because we cannot simplify this further, so that's the ratio of the peak area. Remember, peak area. Now you might have seen very complex NMR spectra, and you cannot even measure the area. So what happens is the machine or the chemist will have a formula to determine the actual ratio of the area and give you a number that's generated in the spectrum. So what you see is probably 3.1, 2.0, 1.0, and 6.2. And then we look at the ratio between these integers, we get 6 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3. And it adds up to the total number of hydrogen in the molecule that we are testing. So we know that the ratio is 6 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3. And it makes sense to us that this NMR spectrum belongs to a molecule called metabutane. So in summary, the integration ratio is about the ratio of the different environments of proton in the molecule. If you have more of that proton in the environment, your number will be higher. Now for bonus question, let's look at this. This is ethane. How many signals do you see? The answer is one, because there's only one kind of proton. There are six of them, but they are all identical. And so what is the integration ratio? There is no ratio because that's the only signal you see in the graph. 